Hey everybody, so I think it's safe to finally say the saying, oh my god, I can't believe it's already freaking December, like that's insane to me, like the year is literally done, it's done. And I'm just like, what the heck? Like, what was I doing this past year? For November so, was my birthday month, so that was exciting for me. Um, I just turned 22. Very, very exciting. Do I look it? How old do I look? Um, but yeah, so I just want to share with you guys my favorites for this month. Um, I have quite a few makeup products, uh, a little bit of skincare, and a couple of hair products. But yeah, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and continue watching if you want to see my November favorites. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this face wash. And this is the Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. I really, really love this wash. Um, I feel like it works really well with just getting rid of all the acne or pimples or anything you get on your face. So this is pretty cool. It has 2% salicylic acid inside. And it has that really cold, tingly feeling afterwards. Um, I like that. Uh, sometimes I like it. Sometimes it's like, oh my god, I'm so cold. Like, stop. But <laughs> um, I like it nonetheless. It really does work to get your pimples away and off of your face. So I like that. The next thing um, is the Rock Your Hair Spray It Hard Big Volume Hairspray. This stuff is awesome. It just holds your hair however you want it it gives you volume it adds a little bit of texture to your hair so it's really really good it smells pretty good too um i think it just kind of smells like hairspray for the most part it's kind of like this plant like smell but it's not like bad but it's not like oh my god it's so good like i want to spray this on my body like you know how some things are like that it's not like that um but it's good nonetheless and the next thing is the Rock Your Hair Size Matters Big Volume Root Lift. I really like this one a lot. I love root pump sprays and like root lifts and it does hold your hair, it gives it texture, it gives it body. And then when you like put it in, you usually put it in before you blow dry your hair and then you like bend your head over and you like blow dry it down and you kind of flip it up back. It works really well like that. So definitely go ahead and try that out. Um, I got a sample in my birch box from the Bain de Terre um, Macadamia Oil Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff is really, really good. I am going to purchase this the next time I need a new shampoo. It had my hair so soft, so smooth, so silky. It was crazy. I was like, is this my hair? Like, what the heck is going on? I loved it. So I wanted to purchase that, but I did purchase the new me shampoos and conditioners. I purchased two of them because it was on Hot Look. So I didn't get a chance to purchase the Bain de Terre ones, but after those are finished, I'm definitely, definitely going to get these ones because I feel like they're so worth it and my hair loves it. So hopefully it'll work out um, well because I really do want them. The next product is the Aven Thermal Spray Thermal Spring Water, and this is Brand. Aven, and you can find this in the Look Boutiques of the Duane Reads, and um, I think beauty.com and dermstore.com and you can find this brand online as well you can find it on those stores i'll have them all linked down below um this is the thermal spray and it's just kind of like a setting spray you can use this for everything actually you can use this for like burns you can use it to set your makeup you can use it to put on before you can use it for like rashes you can put it it's like for sensitive skin too so it works really well if you have redness if your skin is like burning or a bunch of different things. I will have the link down below to the website. It tells you everything about it as well as I love this stuff. I love it before my makeup and I love it after my makeup for it's like a flawless effect all over my face. It sets everything really nice and because my skin has been really dry recently, um, it just works super, super good. So I'm in love with it. The next thing that I've been loving is the Cargo Blu-ray High Definition Makeup and this one is in 40. This is the darkest color that it comes in. It works really well though. It works really, really well for my skin tone. It matches perfectly. It leaves an absolutely flawless appearance. I love Cargo. Ever since I started working for Here and More, I've been in the look boutiques a lot of the Dwayne Reed stores and, and this brand sells there and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like it used to be in it used to be in Sephora, but I don't know why it's not anymore. It should definitely go back and be in there. But it's so good. I'm absolutely in love with it. So I'm really happy that I got this. And I kind of want the other shades for my kit as well because it's amazing. So I definitely love that. The next thing is also from Cargo. It is the 
Key Largo blush that my friend Catherine Kit Kat says here on YouTube. She got it for me for my birthday. Thank you, Kat. I love this blush. I've been swatching this blush and putting it on and just fiending for this damn blush for so long that I'm super happy that I got it. Um, so this is the Key Largo blush. I'll do a quick swatch for you guys so you can see it. It's so cute and super, super duper pink. I love it. This is going to be my go-to blush in the summer, as well as the um, Laguna blush, which is a bright orange color. I love that. Orange has become my absolute favorite color. I have no idea why, um, but I absolutely love orange, so I'm really excited to get that blush. I will be getting it sometime soon, so I'm excited. Um, the next one is a blush from... Mac and my friend Tiffany gave this to me. It was in her collection and she's never used it so I'm excited that she gave it to me. Thanks Tiff. So it is the Hidden Treasure Powder Blush. That just looks like this. I don't remember what collection this is from. I don't I don't think it's a pro product. It's a velvet finish but um, it just looks like this. It's gorgeous for winter time. It's like a really pretty um, I don't know how to say. It's kind of like a a muted red color. It's so pretty. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited for this color. I love it so much. So I've been using that a lot recently. It's really nice for the winter because it gives you that like warm glow to your face. The next thing that I've been loving is the MAC Perfectly Poised Mineralized Skin Finish. This has been the highlight I've been going to and just kind of like to top off my blush. It's gorgeous. Um, this is the little white side and then this is the golden side. That's what those look like. They're super duper pretty. I love that. I um, love the gold side. You can use it as a highlight. You can use it just um, as individual shadows. You can use it to highlight wherever. Super. That was from the Divine Night collection. I bought that. Another product that I'm excited about is a Riri lipstick in Talk That Talk. I love it. I don't know if you guys have known but or noticed. I'm obsessed with dark, 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 dark lips. I love lips. Like if I could wear this color like every day, I totally would. Like dark wine berry colored lips. Like really dark wine dark lips. I love it. Um, I also love my bright pink lips, but I'm absolutely obsessed with these dark lips recently. So that's Talk That Talk from the Riri collection. Um, I have been loving the Vera Moore Cream Foundation. I'm in the shade Golden Tan. That's I feel like you would be that if you are like an NC44, 43-ish. Super good. It leaves such a satiny finish, a dewy finish on my face. And then when I set it with the um the cargo blush, I just look absolutely flawless. I'm super super excited about that. I will be doing an updated foundation routine with that. Um, the next thing is this concealer, which is the Pro Longwear Concealer. I am in W30. Cute. I've been using this forever, ever, and ever. Like I've just, I've been using this for a very very long time. I love it. I love it so much. That's what I have on underneath my eyes right now. I've been loving the Vera Moore blush in Moccasin. This has been one of my absolute favorite blushes. It just goes well with every single skin tone. It's just kind of like a pinky brown look. Like a dusty pink. Super cute. That's what that looks like right up there. It just Blends in perfectly. I love it. So that's that one. What I've been loving is the lipstick in Kiss and Tell from Vera Moore as well. This is what this looks like. This is like a chocolatey brown color. I love it. It's like a milk chocolate color. But I also pair it with my next favorite, which is the Spice Lip Liner from Vera Moore. I just like to line this and then put the Kiss and Tell on top of it. It works so well. I love it. That's what that looks like. And it just gives you a really pretty, pretty brown, a warm brown color. So it's really good. So I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so Spice has also been one of my absolute favorite liners. It just gives like a warm undertone to everything you put on top. I've been loving Black Plum from Vera Moore. I love Black Plum. It reminds me so much. 
it just gives you like the perfect like dark matte purple color like it's just perfect like I love that color super cute super super cute so I love that this has definitely been one of my favorites I've been wearing this a lot recently I've been wearing this in a lot of my Instagram pictures um, a lot of people have been asking me about it. It's that Black Plum from Vera Moore. I love it. that I've been loving is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. And this one is in Dark Cherry, I believe. So good. It's super, super cute. It's like really dark. I used the um, Black Plum and then I put this on top of it. So I'm going to do that right now. It's so pretty. I love it. That's what it looks like with the Vera Moore black plum underneath and this is what it looks like alone it's just a really nice dark purple with so i've been obsessed with that i've been obsessed with those cream lip stains i can't wait to get the red one i think i'm gonna get that for christmas from my friend but i'm really excited for it i can't wait to try i heard it's like it finishes to like a ruby woo finish super cute so i've been liking this laura mercier lip gloss and this one is in opal this I got in one of my Birch boxes or my Ipsy boxes. This is so cute. I'm actually considering buying like a full size or a Mercier lip gloss. I've never tried them before, but they seem really good. I'm usually not a lip gloss person. I like my lipstick and when my lipstick wears off, I'm fine. I'm over it. Whatever. Give me some chapstick. Like that's just me. I'm not super duper high maintenance like that, but I've been really liking that a lot. So I'm might get that. I'm not too sure. The next thing I've been loving is the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I've only been using the brow side. Sometimes I use the lash side for my brows as well. I feel like it'll work. So, um, yeah. I've been loving this. It just, it doesn't hold that, like, brown stuff, like the powder. It just, it just it's really wet, so it just goes through right through it. It just goes right through it. Like, it doesn't leave anything, like, it leave powder or leave it brown or leave it weird. It just works really well. And finally, my last favorite, or second to last favorite, is the Jimmy Choo scent. The original Jimmy Choo scent. I got the rollerball. I love rollerballs. I think rollerballs are fun. And I can get a ton of rollerballs and try a bunch of different scents for a while. So that's why I just got the Jimmy Choo. The Jimmy Choo, I don't exactly know what it smells like. It smells like... It smells like a New Yorker. It smells like you're in Bloomingdale's, you're in Soho, you're high class, you're upper class. It just smells so like sophisticated and nice. And I kind of wanted to have that scent just because I'm getting older and I can't be using Ed Hardy anymore as much as I love my Ed Hardy. I want to smell older and I want to smell more like, you know, mature. So the last favorite of mine is the Red Velvet Crinkle Cookie from Tonera. I love Red Velvet. I have been obsessed with Red Velvet. For quite a while now, I've been obsessed with red velvet lattes, red velvet donuts, red velvet cake, red velvet cupcake, red velvet cookies, everything red velvet. I love it. So if you guys have any favorite red velvet thingies, any recipes, or anything like that, email me at my email. I'll have that down below. It's reesebabe1 at AOL.com. So email me your recipes if you guys have anything like cool that you guys are doing because I kind of want to get into baking and cooking, kind of, not really, kind of. Um, I'm like, I need to find a man, I need to find a husband, I need to learn how to cook. I'm like panicking right now, I'm, I'm pretty desperate, uh, not really. But yeah, so I really do want to learn how to cook though and if you guys have anything like that, let me know if you guys have tried any red velvet things or any snacks or anything healthy or anything not really healthy. Let me know down below what your thoughts are because I'm trying I'm trying to eat right now. I'm hungry. I'm trying to snack on something. So give me ideas. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a really great November. Yeah. It definitely did. Ups and downs here and there, but you know me, I'm crazy. I'm always in some nonsense trouble but thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Go ahead and check out my 12 days of Christmas giveaway. Um, that's going on for 12 days. It's ending on December 15th, so go ahead and check that out. Go ahead and check out my Instagram at Reese Babe as well as Reese MUA. So, um, do that. My Twitter is Reese X3 if you guys want to follow me. That's just kind of like random things. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much. I will talk to you guys in another video. See you later. Bye.